In this video, I'm going to talk about cash ICES, that's individual savings accounts. Now, you might have heard of these as tax efficient ways to save. That's because any money that you put into an ISA, if you earn the interest, you won't get taxed on it. So it means you get to keep more of that money that you've earned. If you're going to open up an ISA in the UK, a cash ISA, there's a few things you need to know. You need to be a UK resident and you need to be over 16 years old. If you're under 16 or you want to open one for someone under 16, there is also a junior ISA alternative. Now, when you've got an ISA, you can only make payments into one ISA during a financial year. And if you've got older ones, you kind of, one, look at interest rates because you might find that they've dropped quite a bit and you're not really earning much interest. But if you want to get better rates, you can transfer them often into new ones. It's also important to know that there's a limit in how much you can save in a cash ISA. This does change most years, so take a look at the Money Advice Service website to find out what those latest limits are. Now, you might not have enough money, because there's quite high now those rates of those, those caps, you might not have enough savings to reach those limits, but it's worth knowing that if you take money out of most cash ISAs, you can't then put it back in in the same financial year, unless you've got what's called a flexible ISA. So check the terms and conditions to find out if you can take money in and out. And that's an important thing to think about if you need access to the cash, but you expect to have more coming in later in the year. And although the ISAs are a good thing, it's worth knowing that now everyone who's a basic tax rate payer gets what's called a personal savings allowance, which means they can earn £1,000 in interest and not pay tax on it. So you need to have a lot of money at a high rate of interest to get that £1,000. So it might be you should look at alternative savings accounts, such as current accounts or normal saving accounts, and you might get a better rate of return. 